it's a Team 17 game without worms. It uses autosave. Hello, friends. Welcome to Dredge. What is Dredge? Well, apparently I have to hold down the button. Dredging the depths. Uh, go fishing. That's what I got. And now that everything's all set up nice and easy and there's a whole bunch of accessibility options, good lord. Hello, I come from you from the land of going going swimming and being an idiot and not putting your legs up in time before you smash into the wall. Ah, oh, my legs hurt, help. I decided to go to the water park because it was really hot and ow. Now I have a limp. I'm gonna have a limp for like three days. So I figure, yeah, I don't, I can't deal with puzzles, so let's just go fishing. That's at least something I used to do. It's me, the fishing trawler. Hooray! Job listing angler, why? I love this art style already. <laughs> that didn't seem ominous at all. Oh, it's a lighthouse. Hello. I read stories about lighthouses. They don't turn out all that great. Not usually. Hey, where'd all the people go? I don't know. I'll just stay here overnight and see what happens. No! Oh, oh, there's a community here. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying in the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Greater Morrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. <laughs> Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I had a few of the locals move your things into one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Because, hmm. you know, I'm just going to give you this boat for free. Nothing, nothing fishy about that. No. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on your time. It can really creep up on you. There's a time mechanic. <laughs> Do what's on the fit of uh, the thing. Catchable. F oh God. Peculiar engine. Someone's tuned this engine in a familiar way. Whatever they did seems to give it more power than normal. Maybe it's powered by the souls of the Forsaken. How did you power the? <laughs> oh, it's one piece. Okay. Peculiar fishing. <laughs> I half expected it. Splintered and fragile. This rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Catch fish for the day. Meet met the mayor of Great Morrow who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Nice enough. Warn me to get back before nightfall. Though, he said something about a fog. Bit dramatic. There's nothing bad that could happen in a fog. If they were, they would have made movies out of it. In fact, they would have made two movies out of it. You don't see that happening. No, sir. Gonna go and fish. Fish. Whee! Oh, God. The time's just eating. Just height? What do you mean, just height? Oh, ooh. Fish! Fish! S disturbed water. High stock. Ah. You caught a mackerel! Yay! You caught fish. I see. You caught another mackerel. This is literally just fishing. You caught. Okay, it is. You're over to fishing or mackerel. I wonder if I. Do you run. Do you run under Queen of Quag's logic? Where if you overfish, it's just gone. You know what? We're gonna leave this alone and see. We're, we're, we're just gonna see first before we do anything. A floating buoy serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. 
Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. I'm not supposed to be out at night, though. Oh, the, the cameras. Hmm. I wonder if you could do this with a uh, controller, because it might be easier. You caught a cod! It's a codfish! You caught a super cod! You're overfishing the area! This spot has been depleted. You've done overfished. It's over. Where? It's. It's. It's noon already? Why are you going. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Go away. Fine. I don't want to fish there anyway. I'm gonna go over here and fish. Alright, buddy. The fuck is this? 20th of August, 1927. Add it to the cabinet. Uh, those are some big fish. Those are some really big fish. Uh, night's getting real close. But I want to catch some fish. You caught another blue mackerel. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. Hey ho, my lads, we're gonna risk it. Okay, we're we're done risking. It's it's getting to be dusk. Run, run, run. It's getting to be night. It's getting to be night. Listen, I'm almost there. I'm right here. Don't you get mad at me? I'm I'm in the the, the pier area. If you fuck me up, I'm gonna be mad. There, see? Look! Wasn't that bad? You step onto the dock at Great Amaro. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you've returned in one place. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too bad and damaged to be repaired. However, I'm... Ah, there we go. However, I'm more than happy to sell that replacement vessel. Yours to own! I understand you might not have the necessary funds at hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is paid, a tiny portion of the fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understood? Got... How do I sell... You know what? Selling fish town pays off my debt. Thank you. Off you golden. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Yikes. Ship. Oh God! So the 20, when it said twenty-seven, it's more recent than anything. Cause fifty dollars is a lot back then. Help! You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Oh. Smells almost like wet cat. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised to found a new one so fast. Uh, what? what? He, uh, <laughs> it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, it's a business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt p outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. Here you go. Um, just sell all the fish. D -d Does that sell me? D -d I'm good, right? Why, 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 why? Huh? Oh, maybe, maybe. Damage! What do you mean, damage? Alright, we're good. The mayor is standing outside of the fishmonger's store. Excellent work! I have I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. <laughs> Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Research part? <laughs> I mean, I'm not an engineer. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to help some modifications on your ship. You should pay her a visit. I'm gonna go fight. 
Okay, so I guess I can't just be like, here's the money, go away. Use parts to research new equipment. Research equipment will appear for sale in shops. Would you like to spend... That's all you need, too. I... Assist reels in capturing a significantly larger species. Wow! Hello, what is this? Fisher Propeller makes this reasonable engine for those on the budget. Pots. Nets. Uh, give me better... Better spool. Hydraulic route is now available in stores. Oh, I have to buy it? I just... I kickstarted and I still need to fucking purchase it. Fuck. Oh, shit. She has seen some shit. As you walk into the yard, you see a shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah, you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front. And everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or... Any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She, sh <clears throat> she shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently in and attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Four hundred big ones! Why? <laughs> what a good guy! Uh, what do I have? I have basic fishing fall. What do you do? Lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in shallows. Ah. Limited reeling speed, however. I guess I'm getting this. I guess I'm getting this. Is the time still going? No. Eh. Could have doubled. Makes decent effort shining through the glue. Why do I feel this is gonna be bad? Fix damage and restore durability. You don't need it. Alright, what are you yelling at me about? Oh, messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the back of the Greater Mon. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. Did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. You want to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean Riches was a good name. I think he was prepared. For, I think he. Bleh. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket in front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. You doomed the ship! Blue mackerel and cod! Yay! Cod's more, worth more, really. Why do you say exotic? I'm sorry, what? Why would you name an area the Devil's Spine? Are you- Ahem. Ahem. Why does it say Aberration of Fish? Okay, well, we're gonna have fun. That's what I just learned. Hey, Mayor. What can I do you for? Oh, you can. Hey, what happened to the la <laughs> last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. By the way, there's a giant red spire in the background. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Why is there a doom spire in the back? Sauron, is that you? Do you hate the fish? I know them fish took my ring. I'm gonna kill them all. Now, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do you for? 
wide region? Certainly! Is there someone in particular you wish to know more about? <laughs> Fucking... Ah, yes! Quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hole. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Certainly not the sounds of any other death thing or anything. Certainly not that red spire in the background that keeps getting bigger. Is there any other area you'd like to discuss that does involve... Hmm. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mess of trees. It's often blanketed in thick fog even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're going to go explore there. What about the Stella Basin, you say? Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll, but built the top of a colorful, beautiful colorful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Um, Gale Cliffs, well. The main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much of it these days. I think a good, uh, quite a few people have left, one way or another. One way or another. Now, what else can I do you for? Uh, I'll fucking go back to fishing, I guess. Why is this? Can I look at a map? No, no map? No map! I don't know what's with the death spire, but I don't think I want to know. That thing's just going all night! Oh, it's still there! It's still there! Okay, it's gone. Why was there a death spire? Fire. Why? Who? Ah, I see. Ah, eh, we don't need it. Aha! It does matter! I guess I'll leave it be then. Hi, fish! Shallow. Star fishing. Hi, fish! You got the Gulf of Flounder! He looks better than the current flounder! <laughs> Huge. Okay, leaving it alone. I'm assuming it'll it'll respawn somehow. Hello, friends. Oh, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna force you to just. I'm I'm gonna force you to respawn the damn place. I'm just fishing. There's a thing over there that we're getting into deeper waters. I don't know if we want to be doing this. Hi, fish. I have a feeling that the. Can you rotate it? <gasps> you can rotate it! Oh, my life! My life fryer. Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you for this. I'm so happy. What are you yelling at me about? It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going over here and getting whatever this was. So I can see how she's all upset because, oh no, I can't the old name. Everything's dying. Help. Welcome back to Deadliest Catch. We're here getting ourselves give. There, see? I used to watch the shit out of that show. Up until, uh, that what? That dude fell off the thing. Oh, actually, the last time I saw it was, uh, one of the captains passed away. That was sad. Uh, there you go. You just have fun being in that there. Ooh! We're... We had an er... An early, uh, end to the day. Where the fuck's the town? There you are. Um. Don't. No. 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 Listen, I'm in the gulf. It's fine. Look, the, the lighthouse is there. I know I'm right here. It's fine. Uh, why is it an eyeball? Why is it an eyeball? Why are you an eyeball? I don't trust you. Oh, the spire started. Hi, spire. I'm not there. You can fuck off. 
I'm here where I'm supposed to be. Hey, fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in whenever, when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water in order to catch those. Shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Got any fish for that order? Let's leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Here you go, friend. Wow, that eel's big. All right, come back when you have everything. Now the regular business, eh? Keep an eye out for lots of fish. They feed more mouths so I can pay more for them. I'll sell all these fish. Good on ya! Dead adjusted, 17 less. I'll take it. This this game's actually pretty neat. I like it. It's not... It's not like bullshit and whatnot and killing you. Hey, Mayor. What can I do you for? Of course, how much would you like to repay? All of it. Fantastic! Now, what else can I do you for? You're done? Well, you can go and do whatever you want. By the way, there's a giant eyeball looking at you right now. I don't think you should be... <laughs> I don't think you should go fishing. No! You stop with that! Stop it! I actually... No, that's the tree behind it. I don't think there's anything else. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, let's go back to fishing! How much money do I got? I paid off my debt, so I'm done. Yep. Maybe for fulfilling the order, but I need to catch an eel wherever the fuck that is. More than another second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets in the back of the Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relative. I'm. What? Oh, I see. The new one is above it. Oh, it's one of them. August 21st. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the Great Amaro. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is somewhat concerned, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes on the boat, remaining ceremony. He is so paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Yeah, boat! Boat's kind of superstitious. You haven't caught this fish yet. <laughs> the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with the spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partially to your efforts, Great Amaro is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. <laughs> In fact, I granted consent for a shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fisherman monger services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you were chosen to be here with us. You actually paid off your debt unlike that asshole who was here before. Oh my god, you are so much better. Don't worry about that giant spire that's behind my head. Totally not trying to insinuate anything. <laughs> Why is there... That's still just like... Going. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We need a decent stock of hard metals for these projects. Lumbers, metal scraps, that sort of thing. I... what? How? Uh, There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades will be stored, so don't wonder if you only have half of what you need. <laughs> yeah, sure, thanks. Although, you know what? It's also... Uh, I don't want them! Give me this! New cargo spaces? Please! Please, please, please! It's worth it. It's just not worth it right now. How come you don't tell... Oh, the money's literally up there. I'm an idiot. Just ignore me. Make sure you check out the specs before you buy this stuff. Once it's installed, no refunds. Fuck you for buying it. How dare you. So I can... Yeah, I'm gonna get another engine, because it's taking a while. There we go. Double engine duty! 
14 knots, 10 knots, won't get you far. You don't get me far enough! Yeah! Oh, baby, we are gonna fucking fish! I don't have any. This is a simple game. I am surprised at how much it's actually, like, working. Oh, <clears throat> a hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh, why are you here? Well, I'm, I'm fishing. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. I don't believe you. I think there's fish. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? I guess? The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping. Dripping? The dock worker will pay upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass map if you get lost. I gotta go east? Deliver the package to Doc Parker at Little Marrow, which is to the east. Dense and damp, seeping through the paper, but I don't want to open it. Surely it can't be anything evil. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Alright. It's time for delivery. Ooh, adding that extra engine helps. Fuck yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! This little tugboat's chugging along! Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked, bitch! The knight's not gonna catch me this time! Hi, little Marrow. I already paid off my debt, so I'm doing good things. Yay! Oh god, they're gonna fucking beg me for shit, aren't they? They're gonna be like, We need you to fish for us! Please help our town! <laughs> mm, what? Deliver me? Let's see here. It tells a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay, I suppose. He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. How should I get more use out of it? He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. Remember, pages are full. Oh, sustainable fishing. You know what? Never mind. I, I was about to say why, and then it's like, oh, oh, yeah. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat time. I know how lonely it can be. Trader? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you with over some spectacles. Hello, is that... No, I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Nope. You're on your own. So... Peddler? But I don't want to say peddler. Trader, just a trader. I say peddler because played Harvest Moon, alright? It's not my fault. Leave me alone. Alright, so what the hell's with this? Past time to read. Okay. I have to actually read the damn thing. Can I read it while I'm fishing? Fuck it. Yeah! I caught a... I caught a fucking stingray. Damn. Oh, this is a problem. Holy shit, this is a problem. Help. Are you shallow? Shapes in the deep. You don't have the right stuff for this. It says you. How about you, friends? Oceanic. Are you can fit? Well... No, you, you need a fucking... tall-ass rod. Hey, we can catch some of these. Yeah! Blue mackerels. Give me some of that there money. Yeah! Yeah? Okay, well, that's it for blue mackerels. Can we have some of them there? There we go, we'll have you. God! 
See, I know what I'm doing. I'm a greatest fisherman in the world. With a fuck ton of fish. Look at that. Early day again. Yeah. Why don't you look like the town? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he went back to this. <laughs> oh, no. We have a problem. I don't have a good sense of direction on a boat. Which, you know, fair enough. What's with the E? Uh-huh. Make your presence known. Can identify his fish spots from a distance. <laughs> I have a feeling that we don't want to do that very often. Did you read the, the book? 37%. Yeah, you kind of can't finish a book in one go, can you? Hi, friends. What do you got for me today? Oh, do I got something for you. Can we get... Can we get a one going? Uh... It's risky. You got an armor squid. You should probably run the fuck away at this point. That squid put up a fight. You can't get me, I'm a duck. I'm a duck, you can't get me. <laughs> I'm safe. Found this book out back. Could be useful to you. A fisherman reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Yay! There you go, fishmonger. You can have a squid. I'm guessing reading is a secondary uh, research tactic. Rods, reels, and reeds. Hey, 50%. Apparently there's going to be only fish that you can catch at night, so that'd be fun. A single unlucky hit is enough to knock out an engine. And you wouldn't want to be without a motor when the fog runs in. Is that what it is? So wait, is that what it is? Maybe. Oh no! The darkness is attacking... Is attacking your engines. Shallow... Can I sell this back to you? Well, goodbye, friend. Absolutely. Three hours, have at it. Go to bed. This game, oddly fun. Really oddly fun. That's not what I meant to do. I would say go for it. Yeah. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll advance a little bit on my own, and then maybe I'll make a second video when I've gotten further. Maybe when I can go visit the Eye of Sauron. So yeah, that's what it is. I'll wait until I can actually get out and about and see what's going on. So far, so good. Surely nothing bad and evil can be going on here. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching this. You all have a good one. Why? I'm... Wait. Why are the windows boarded up? Wait, 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 wait. Why are your windows boarded up? What's going on? What are you not telling me? Okay. Fine. Sure. You all take care. Bye.